Well, tonight, with teen crime on the rise, a local nonprofit is seeking solutions to prevent more kids from entering the prison system. Proverbs 22 6 aims to heal families by breaking the cycle of generational incarceration. WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Wooder joins us live there tonight. And Tradisha, folks gathered there just hours ago to pray for Charlotte. Absolutely, Vanessa. They are still here. And basically, they say there's just a huge number of kids committing homicides here in Charlotte. So their goal tonight is to pray. Take a look at these cars. The prayer starts at 12 a.m., but you can see long lines of cars here in this area. But if you turn this way, Manny, I actually want to show you some of the people standing off here to the side. There's also people standing here on this bus. It's a pretty good crowd. It looks like it's going to kick off in about less than 30 minutes. Now, one of the biggest questions asked was why 12 a.m.? Why midnight? I spoke with the organizer who says midnight represents a new dawn, a new day, a new beginning. So they're hoping to gather here and spread the message. Now, this truck here that's standing and parked along the side is basically one of those trucks that's going to be driving through the neighborhood, spreading awareness. So tonight, folks got a first look inside as they continue their mission. Now, they say the disparity is what's causing these children to make mistakes in the city, along with allotting resources and tools to help them redirect their lives. They're also coming together, talking to God about this challenge to pray. There is a direct correlation between education and incarceration. And we see if we don't have kids ready to go to school and get educated, you know, it's going to be a hard battle for us. And so this prayer is not about like uh, reducing the crime in Charlotte. This prayer is about how we can get our children back into schools. And as leaders continue to mentor and fight for kids that are at risk, they said they're also working to uh, build a stronger relationship between children and parents who are still incarcerated. They say this is just a mission that goes way beyond the Queen City. Reporting live for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Tradisha Woodard. Incredible to see the community coming out with this positive message, getting together. Certainly so. Yeah. Tradisha, thank you.